So I'm ready to turn the uh, fire pump back on, the breaker. And uh, I'm finished filling the floor. The jockey pump on the ground there has stopped pumping. And I can see it's up to pressure, 151. And it says right here, it's on at 150 and off at 170. So that should still be running. But anyway, when the sprinkler head goes off, the jockey pump will try and keep up with the pressure. But after a while, less than a minute, it can't keep up. So that's going to start the fire pump. It'll realize a sensor, uh, a pressure loss, and then the fire pump will kick in. <clears throat> and that's to give time for false, for the pressure differential sometimes in the morning and cold days and, and uh, hot days, the pressure changes a bit. So that's so it doesn't uh, start the fire pump uh, falsely, false tripping. So what we're going to do now is uh, start the fire pump. Not start it, but uh, turn the breakers back on. And basically I'm going to do the opposite of what I did before. So I'm going to start the normal power first, and then the alternate power. If I did the reverse, like I said, it's going to sense that the, uh, it's going to think there's a power failure and kick that generator on on the alternate power, and then kick the fire pump on that way. So this way, is the uh, proper way of uh, filling the system. You always turn the fire pump off. Um, it's going to ring the bell it, locally here for about 10 seconds until this screen can uh, pre uh, activate and get all the uh, pressure readings. So what I'll do is I'll turn it on and wait 10 seconds. The bells will start ringing. So after it comes up, all the uh, readings uh, are normal, then you can turn the alternate power on and it's safe. So that's how we uh, fill the system, turning on and off the fire pump. There's different kinds of fire pumps. So this one here is an electric and it comes with an alternate power generator. Some of them just have a single single fire pump with, a gen with no generator. So everyone's different. All right, that's for, all for today. Thanks.